Analog is a full-stack framework for Angular, similar to Next.js for React, that offers server-side rendering, static site generation, and API routes. It's a game-changer for Angular developers, empowering us with tools for server rendering that were previously only available in frameworks like Next and Next.js. So let's dive in and explore how Analog transformed my course platform step by step. Before we get into the migration process, let's quickly touch on the different rendering approaches Analog offers. Server-side rendering, or SSR, is perfect for applications where SEO is crucial and initial page load performance is essential. It delivers fully rendered HTML from the server, resulting in faster page load and better search engine optimization. On the other hand, static site generation, or SSD, is ideal for content-based sites or blogs. It pre-builds the entire site at build time, serving static HTML files to the client for placing fast performance and simplified scalability. Note that this can also be done dynamically using incremental static regeneration like in next years. This will generate the static files in the background if it's not already present or if the cache is stale. And finally, client-side rendering or CSR offers flexibility for dynamic use experiences and real-time updates. It's perfect for applications with heavy interactivity or complex client-side logic. Now for my course platform, which is behind authentication and it contains personalized user data, like progress tracking, server-side rendering was the clear choice. Since SEO was not a primary concern and the platform's content is personalized, SSR provided the best balance of performance and security. Now let's look at the tech stack and architecture of the course platform. It's built on Firebase tools like Firestore, Firebase Auth and Firebase Functions following a layered NX monorepo architecture. Analog is created as an app in the NX monorepo allowing us to reuse the code in the libraries and leverage the benefits of server-side rendering. Analog builds on top of Veeds and Nitro, harnessing their power to deliver server-side rendering for Angular applications. Veed provides fast bundling and hot module replacement, while Nitro offers features like file-based routing and static site generation. Authentication is a critical aspect of my course platform, and I use Firebase Auth for seamless user management. The course platform has a register page that registers users and checks in the CM if the user is a course member. Alternatively, we could use passwordless authentication to send a mail to new students to register triggered by a webhook from Stripe. We use the on off change method from Firebase Auth to obtain the current user information when a user is authenticated. We get the ID token from the current user information and we set it as a cookie so it will be sent to the server requests. We have a user server service that is using the Firebase admin library to verify the ID token we get from the cookie and decode it into user information. For all the cookie management, we are using the NGX cookie service for both handling cookies on the client and server side. But for accessing cookies on the server side, we need to set the request and response platform providers so all the request information is available on the server side. And we do that in the main.server.ts file. Now we have a way of authenticating users on the server side. We can start implementing the guards. We have the redirect if logged out server guard that will redirect us to the login page if we're not already logged in. This guard is using the user server service from before to check if we are logged in based on the cookie information. So that we are doing the router navigate in ng zone for proper change detection. The login functionality is handled with Angular FireOff. And this is already implemented in the Angular client app, so we were able to reuse that. I'm using the route meta data from analog to set the redirect if logged in server guard, which is a guard that will navigate us to the courses page if we are already logged in based on the same user server service as the other guard. And we can now show the login page like this. After we log in, we are taken to the courses page. So let's build that. The idea behind the course platform is that it can support more than one course. 
the course page shows all the courses the users can access and navigate to a course on click. To get data, the analog app is communicating with a GraphQL server that is accessing the Firestore information. For the analog app to communicate with the GraphQL server, we need to provide it with an authorization token, which is the ID token from Firebase Auth, and a school ID identifying the school that you want to access data for. Now we should be able to get the courses data and show the courses page like this. The course layout page contains a list of sections in the drop down to the left. It contains a current section and a current lesson. For this page, we need some route params. We need the course ID, we need selected section ID, and we need a lesson ID. The convention with Nitro's file based routing is to use square brackets to identify params. Again, this was already implemented in the Angular app, so we're just referencing the same layout component and adding some route metadata for the resolver to get the data and the redirect if locked out server guard. For the resolver, we're making sure to only fetch the user data if we are on the server. We don't want to double fetch on the client, so we will cover later how we handle hydration of the client. We should now have the following file structure. The courses page for the list of courses. We have the courses.courseID page, which will redirect to the courses.courseID.selected section ID, which is the layout page. Inside of that folder, we will have a specific selected lesson ID page for rendering the selected lesson. We have some action item page and questions page, which is static pages. Lesson page, we are also reusing from the existing Angular app and adding some route metadata specifying the lesson type is lesson. This is to distinguish dynamic lesson pages from the static action items and questions. And now we should be able to see the lesson page like this. Initially, when we implemented this, it wasn't performing very well as we saw a spinner even though we were not doing any client-side requests. This is because NGX was not being hydrated on the client with the server data it had already fetched. So we had to find a way to transfer the NGX store state generated on the server side to the client. That way the client could just continue from where the server left. In this pursuit, I found inspiration in the NGX universal rehydrate package by J Bell. On the server side, it uses transfer state service to set the store state from the server before it is serialized to transfer over HTTP to the client. Then on the client side, we have a meta reducer that listens for the init action and retrieves the server state and merges the server state into the client store. Where the client store is initialized, hydrated with the server store state. So after this, we made sure to only trigger the fetching actions on the server side. The migration wasn't without a few road bumps on the way. Here are a few of the caveats. By default, Veet doesn't transform dependencies and expects them to be in the ESM format. Some dependencies were not available in the ESM format and we had to add them to the vconfig.ts to make sure they were being transpiled with the no external option. After deploying the analog app to Firebase function and hosting, there were some problems with the hosting rewriting, not forwarding the session cookie, but that requires the session cookie to be named underscore underscore session cookie. So it's forwarded probably to the functions server. The Firebase configuration looked like this with a functions server and hosting with the rewrite rules that rewrites everything that is not a static file hit to the server. So now we've done the migration of the course platform to analog, let's consider if it was actually worth it. Analog excels in providing SSR and SSG for Angular applications, which is especially relevant if you have public pages where SEO is important such as blocks. For this case, almost all the pages were authenticated as it is a paid course platform. So there's no need for SEO. Also, we have personalized data on the lesson page, such as the 
progress tracker. That made it more sensible to use SSR instead of SSG, even though SSG would have given us even better performance. Regardless, we saw some drastic performance gains from switching from an Angular app to analog with SSR. We see how our Lighthouse performance score went from 86 to 98. So all in all, analog is a great meta framework if you are looking to SSG and SSR with your Angular app. And it's especially it's good if you have public pages like a blog or you need the SEO and performance benefits. A cross platform like this, the business case is more questionable. Even though we saw quite some performance improvements, the added complexity and the need for hydration and server-side conditional code were a compromise to the dev experience. Regardless, it was a great learning experience and I recommend you check out Analog if you're looking to have a Nuxt or Next.js alternative for Angular apps.